Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video and thank you so much for joining me today. I will be painting a whimsical painting, magical painting, some butterflies and a very very loose and simple flowers and all the materials I will be using for this painting is listed in the description box so if you're interested in something you can find it all there. I started off with privetting the entire paper and now I've just picked up a little bit of the pink and I'm painting in some background flowers that are going to be blurred and out of focus and I'm using this larger flat brush. This is actually Raphael number 22 I believe and it is quite large. I'm using the side of the brush and painting in just impressions of flowers. And then on top I'm splattering a little bit of the violet and then a little bit of the turquoise and you can see that I'm keeping all of my paint and all of those splatters and flowers going from diagonally from lower right corner to the upper left corner because those are the parts that I want my flowers to be and I do want to leave the lower part lower left and upper right side blank or white and those flowers at the corners are going to be blurred and in the central part where my two butterflies are later on I will be adding also some flowers on dry paper because those flowers I do want to be in focus and for the blood of butterflies I'm using some yellows again violet pink and turquoise and just keeping all of my colors similar in a similar range of colors and just keeping that color palette quite limited. I don't really want a lot of the colors there and for the background colors I did use quite light washes. I left it to dry completely and you can see also that the paint was bleeding outside of my butterflies. That's fine. That's I did prevent the paper because I wanted it to bleed outside. Later on we will also do a top layer on our butterflies and we're gonna make those edges a little bit sharper. So for the flower again I did use the larger flat brush to paint in the petals and I was doing it quite loosely. Now I'm just well, keeping what I got from my a larger flat brush and just using it to paint in the flower. Of course, you can just paint in any type of the flower you want and you can paint each petal, that's fine. Or you can make it even looser than I did and just make the impression of the flowers because actually those flowers are not what is most important in our painting, but the butterflies are. Those flowers are in focus, they are, they are not going to be blurred like the flowers above and below are because you know that's the part where also my, uh, my butterflies are and I do want to keep that part of the paper of the painting sharp and everything else around it I do want to keep looser. But as I said you can also paint in your flowers a little bit looser, that's going to be fine. For the flowers I used this pinkish color and also violet and I did pick up a little bit of the paint for the petals and just forming in my flowers and for the second flower I also used a little bit of the yellow. Now I did privet the paper where my butterflies are just to the edges of my butterflies and I'm painting them with pink and then a little bit also of the turquoise but I'm also leaving some spots white. I did not paint the entire butterfly as you can see. Now I'm gonna mix in some blue and brown to get this darker gray tone almost black for the body of my butterfly. Moving on to the second one I've painted it yellow and adding also a little bit of the pink and just staying within the borders now of my butterfly. For the lower wings again using those same colors and just making it a little bit versatile, a little bit more interesting and textured, keeping some parts lighter and some parts a little bit more saturated with the paint. 
and now I do want to use a bit more saturated paints I don't want my butterflies to be very light because you know keep in mind that what it calls you dry lighter and also same color for the body of my butterfly and if this process is too fast for you and you would like it in a slower pace and real time I do have this video in a real time on my patreon page so it is available there if you're interested I do have many tutorials real-time tutorials there and I'm creating many real-time tutorials there so you can go ahead and check out my patreon page now that the paint is dry I did not wet the paper around my flowers I'm just painting in the edges using again the uh, violet and then with a wash with just a clean brush I'm just softening those lines that I made now that my butterflies dry you have to make sure that the paint is fully dry I'm gonna use this ink pen this is a fountain pen and ink is actually water soluble I will use that later on in my advantage and just slightly add a bit of water around those lines and make it bleed a little bit and create some nice textures if you don't want that of course you can use ink pen that is not water soluble or if you don't have an ink pen that is water soluble and waterproof you can do this part with just a darker violet color just get some color in your brush and go just next to the lines and then soften the edge with just a clean water my ink is as I said is water soluble so I'm just adding clean water and smudging slightly slightly some parts not going around all the lines just some of them and you can see how nice effect you can create and those outside lines were just too clean for me so I decided to add a little bit of the water also around the edges of my butterfly just to soften it in some parts and you know how butterflies also have those we um, wiggly wings just those edges on the wings and it can also look like that moving on to the second butterfly I did add a little bit of the ink also to the body and now going around the wings and again painting some part of the line a little bit lighter some a little bit darker and also if you have a broken lines in some parts it's also going to be fine creating some nice textures I'm not going to add as much ink to this butterfly as I did to the first one but I'm going to add a little bit less mostly on the edges and just a tiny bit in the center part of my butterfly and what I do like about this fountain pen is that you can with harder pressure create a little bit thicker lines and with a very very light pressure a little bit thinner lines yeah I guess I'm also getting to know this ink pen and I really do love it last uh, Sunday week ago I did a tutorial also using ink pen painted some books had lots of fun so I decided to <laughs> use it again and you guys also said you want more ink and watercolors so also going to add just a tiny bit of the ink around my flowers and I'm not going to go around the entire petal just some parts of it just to add a little bit of that black to flowers and just help everything blend in together nicely a little bit more of the water again around the edges just smearing that ink a tiny bit and I'm gonna add a little bit of the water also to the parts where I do have those flowers in the background and I'm gonna splatter 
a little bit more of the paint I do want to I guess make it all cohesive I don't want that part in the background to be too light so I decided to add a little bit more of the splatters but I did wet the paper so those splatters wouldn't be too sharp and I did want them to bleed slightly and for the last thing I decided to add a little bit tiny bit of the metallic paint this is I guess bron uh, bronze from the Van Gogh set. It's very nice because it's quite uh, opaque so adding it on the ink pen lines it's still visible. So just adding it also a little bit on the flowers, a little bit on the butterfly and just creates a very very nice shimmer. And guys with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you're gonna give it a try. It's quite simple and quite nice. You can also make it into a card of course or just a very very nice cute gift. Frame it and well I guess I love it. I love the colors and the whimsical feel. Again thank you so much for joining me today. If you do like this video please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel. I have many many tutorials so I'm sure you will find something for yourself and make sure you check out my Patreon page. Again guys thank you so much and see you next time. Bye!